dealing with lines in three-dimensional space is somewhat similar but but yet a little bit different than dealing with lines in a two-dimensional plane so let's actually start there where we're a little bit more comfortable talking about lines and equations of lines and then we'll see how that relates to lines in three-dimensional space to, to write the equation of a line in a plane you only need two things you need a point on the line and then you need the slope of the line if you have those two things it's very easy to write it as y equals mx plus b in slope intercept form or you can use point slope form or however you want to write it if you have these two things it's pretty straightforward i'm sure we're all very good at doing this writing an equation of a line in a plane now if you're in three-dimensional space though it's a little different you do need a point that's on your line to write the equation of the line but you kind of lose this notion of slope so to speak because if you think about it slope is like rise over run it's the the change in y compared to the change in x but in space you don't just have y and x you have x y and z and so the notion of slope is a little bit lost but what we do have that that kind of gives us this you know the same the same thing that we were after when we're talking about slope is we do have vectors in space so we can indicate a direction that is going not using a numerical value like slope but using a vector you know that we've studied recently so we need not only a point in space that the line goes through but also what's known as a direction vector for the line so graphically, it would be a little vector. It doesn't even matter how long it is, really, that points in the direction of your line. And if we have these two things, then we can write the equation of the line. And, I, and I'm going to show you how to do that right now. All right, so here's the, uh, the formula for writing the equation of a line. So it says the equation of a line in space, three-dimensional space, that goes through a certain point that's hopefully provided to you we'll call it point P, which is X naught comma Y naught comma Z naught, that has a direction vector uh, that's aiming it or pointing it towards the vector ABC is blank. And I'm, I'm gonna fill it in for you, okay? Um, the way that we write our lines in space is in what's called par um, parametric form, which you probably remember from calculus two, you probably did a lot with parametric equations. We're gonna do the same. It's x equals x naught plus a t, then y equals y naught plus b t, and z naught, z equals z naught plus c t, where t ranges over all numbers. Um, just to start with an easy point, if t was zero, then these terms here would be gone and you would start at x naught y naught z naught which is a point on your line but then as t starts to change as t equals 1 or t equals 2 or t equals 3 you're adding a to x naught and b to y naught and c to z naught so you get new x y z values and so basically as you range over all the t values um, some t values will sketch the forward part of the line this direction the negative t values will sketch the other half of the line in the other direction and as you range over all t values you get the entire line so basically that's that's how it works okay um, now what what we're going to do in the the next video is we're actually going to do an example where we actually write the equation of a line in space. So I'll go ahead and show it to you. So here, here we're going to try to find the equation of a line that goes through a certain point that has a certain direction vector. So stay with us and we'll do this example coming up shortly.